Um, the CHAMP coding is um, a harmonizing coding for medical equipment and medical consumables. Um, what it does is make sure that we are able to trace um, batches of um, products that are produced, their manufacturer, um, and through the system of from the man manufacturer to the, 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 the dealer to the hospital who will use it, all the way to when it is used in a patient, there will be a unified way of identifying that it is this product or it is this equipment that was used. How that helps us is that there's traceability. Um, for instance, if there's a, a case of um, a complications of a patient, probably who has like a stint inserted in the, in the, in the heart or um, a valve, or, you know, whatever device is used, what, if there is a fault in that, it can be traced right back to the manufacturer. For the regulator, he wants to see how many of a certain kind of product is being um, um, imported. Uh, in terms of regulating or monitoring uh, supplies and use, uh, you're able to see this kind of, say, catheter is available in the western part of Kenya, whereas we have none in the east. Um, so you're able to um, move stocks from one hospital to another, depending on where the stocks are. And it, what you have when you have a, a unified code is uh, coding is that you know that, say, the supply that is required for the country is this amount. You are able with that amount to negotiate with the manufacturers quite easily. Um, you know, compared to the situation where each hospital decides these are, these are the, uh, the products they need and goes to a manufacturer directly. Here you're able to pull together, the ministry can decide, okay, together with our, minister, with our public um, or our private uh, sector partners, this is the uh, number of sutures we need this year, they're able to go to the manufacturer, get the, the best quality for the lowest cost. So at the end of the day, it saves cost to um, healthcare provision. Um, it also improves quality because you're getting the best. In terms of counterfeit, you will be wondering, once you, you have unified this, this, this uh, system, for instance in Japan, now they have um, stocks of over 400,000 different uh, equipment and supplies, all code coded. Um, if something comes or so, someone uses something outside of that coded system, you want to wonder why are they choosing that one? then they will, it will raise suspicion. So for us as well, it can be a way of making sure that um, things that are authentic, things that have been manufactured in the way that, that meets the standard, the health standard, then are recognized and are, we are, are able to be um, identified. And, and so things that are not coded will, you know, will be taken as, oh, this is suspicious. So you are able to clamp down on counterfeits very easily. This will help especially even when it goes to drugs. Drugs we already have a database for, but in terms of identifying which are the authentic drugs and which ones are not, this is something that would benefit the drugs um, um, monitoring as well. We want to begin at the beginning um, by doing a feasibility study. Feasibility as well as a baseline. What exists? Because there are some people have, who have come up with some coding that is probably for um, a hospital or say a pharmacy uh, chain. But in terms of um, you know, where we are and what the need is, we need to capture that. So that's where we are going to begin. We'll also begin by developing a stakeholders um, forum where all those who are involved in the healthcare arena can sit around the table and say, okay, this is what we want, this is how we go forward. After that, once we've established the, the, the gaps, as well as build the consensus of the major stakeholders, then we'll develop a roadmap, which will go from how do we, what do we agree are the, say, the most uh, critical um, medical equipment. Begin with the high-end equipment, and then come down all the way to the consumables like um, gloves and syringes and you know things that are used commonly. So that's that's sort of the sequence, big picture, how we want to go.